Surely that neighbour in the window over there has seen me stood on the roof. She will, once you scream she must be... you fall and break your leg. Don't say that. <laughs> I can do a triple cock, I can do this. Okay. Ready? Yeah, man. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. So we're here in my garden again. Um, and if you'll have seen in the past, well, let's rewind to last lockdown, I'd built um, a setup with AstroTurf, a little bit more sketchier than this one. This is actually bigger and better. And finally got some pro slope. So actual proper surface this time, which is sick and way nicer to ride. Um, but yeah, so here it is, obviously bigger and better. Um, actually done a few different things differently this time after learning from last time, a few tweaks and changes to make it a little bit more solid. So obviously the rail is a lot different. I've actually built it a little bit lower this time um, just to make it easier to do tricks on because of speed and stuff. But I've actually built this like V-shaped trough thing for the rail to sit in, which is way more sturdy. It doesn't even move around anymore. And that's just super simple to do. So I literally just got basically two, um, two pieces of wood, basically three meters long, um, chopped it down a little bit. So it was about, I mean, that's, I mean, that's about 100 and, 150 maybe. Um, then screwed these together, cut the angles, made like a V shape on the legs, put it all together, super simple, put the pipe on, screwed the pipe each end actually. So you'll see if you come here, you see the little screw just there. So there's only actually three timber screws in this. There's one there, one at the other end, and one in the middle, which is How did you get going that from, the, from the bottom. Yeah, so from the bottom, the other screw comes up from the bottom into the pipe. Hopefully the pipe doesn't break and I fall on the screw. That would hurt. Fun little fact, there's actually 400 screws in this. I know that because I used every screw from the box and it said 200 <laughs> on two boxes, which makes 400. This surface is actually at snow tracks. And if you've ever been to snow tracks, which is down, down in Southampton um, and it's called, it's called Pro Slope and it's basically like, I would say if you've ever seen Dendex before, it's like the, it's like the modern version of Dendex, it's way better, it's not got the gnarly holes in and it's so quick, like because I'm used to riding Snowflex from back at Halifax and um, I always found Snowflex really, I, I mean on a dry day really slow, this surface is really quick. Um, so yeah, you never really have speed issues. It's nice and soft, which is good. And it works really well and you can, you can turn on it. So it's brilliant to just have, especially for little garden setups like this, there's only 10 mats here. And I've managed to build like, easily build like a little rail in the garden. Or if you're teaching your kids to snowboard or ski, this is a brilliant surface to do it on. So yeah, so it's really good. It works, it's good for this. Obviously we're lucky today because we've actually got a little bit of snow. So I might even be able to ride off the roof. Oh, but we'll come to that when we come to it. Last lockdown, um, the rolling was like way sketchier. I actually built it out of like three pallets. This time I've actually gone for like a whole timber structure. Pretty sure I ordered 30 lengths of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the sizes. <laughs> I'll have to write, I'll have to get that down. C6, obviously it's wood, it's not gonna be anything else. But um, yeah, and then there's like, C, I think it's called C16, whatever that means. Right. Any um, timber wood experts out there? I mean, you probably know what C, do you know what C16? Do you know what kind of wood that is? What tree it's come from? Uh, is it a birch? Like, is it birch? It's like birch? Is it birch? But no, it's, so it's not plywood. It's not ply. Who I mean, who, anybody out there who knows what this wood is, then just, yeah, drop a comment below. I'd like to know. And it, looks, it looks quick, eh? Yeah, it is quick. I actually ran out of, um, this the uh, pro slope, so just used a bit of um, plastic from the side sheets of the gym. It's just like a box, eh? Yeah, but it's sli it's slippy and it's fine. Yeah, it's Let's get. I mean, okay. I mean, that's pretty much the setup. There's not much more to explain. It's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Helmet on. Safety, safety first. first safety man. first. Definitely safety first. I can't even do the helmet up. 
Let me take my gloves off. So I've actually not hit this yet. Um, so I wanted to save it for this video. So I'm going to try it now. If it fails, then I'm sorry because they'll have to cut the video there and it will be the end and I'll have to redo it all and do it again. But I think it'll be fine. So let's try it. Who needs a mountain? All you need is your back garden, a few mats from Pro Slope and a bit of wood and some screws from Wix. That's first hit, what are you going for? I'm going for... First hit, nah, I reckon, no. nah, I reckon we'll, I reckon we'll spice it up a little bit. Okay, ready? Yeah, man, Right, first try. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. How was that? Yeah, that was good, man. It actually works so well. That's sick. That's yeah. Down there. Yeah, so much quicker than before. That's sick. Actually, this is my um, lift back. I need like a rope, though. I need a rope. <laughs> <laughs> I actually grinded the edge of my um, flower bed. Get a together, eh? This is actually really good. Sick, it works. Nice, get, okay. Let's get Sesh on. Okay, so thinking of a um, little extra thing to do, I've got a plyo box in there from Bulldog and um, I think you can make a little box out of it. Um, so I've got some plastic sheeting left, so I'm hoping that slides. I'm going to cut that to size, screw it onto the box, put it at the end of the rail and yeah, see what happens. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually heavier than it looks. <laughs> plastic sheet on top and I reckon we're good to go. Do some surgery on the old... Um, Plastic sheet, Stanley knife. Oh, look at that. This is not actually the correct tool, but it's kind of doing the job. But I'm trying to like countersink the, because obviously when I board slide this, don't want to catch the little screws that are going to be sticking slightly at the top. Oh, what's the word? Protruding from Protruding the... From the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hopefully I'll be on it for like a split second. Fine, won't it? Cool. Let's do it. Box to rail. I mean, there's only really one way to find out, isn't there? Give it a go. Just to give it a go. Just see what happens. After a pretty successful um, session so far, I'm gonna try and attempt to jump off um, my gym roof. I fear it's gonna be very quick. Well, it is gonna be very quick. It's gonna be really quick. And obviously the land, just the way the setup is, being super kind of quick transition, it's gonna be pretty sketchy. Check it out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Let's, uh, basically, let's get the mats up there. I'll stand up there, have a look, and um, yeah, have a try. <laughs> That's gonna be really quick. What am I doing? I'm worried about is this sliding? Because... Oh, you'll, yeah. So I'm going to have to put, put, a in there, put a nail in there just to stop that sliding. The, the back one should be fine. And you're going to drop into there? Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit sketchy, isn't it? <laughs> it's cold. Right. Because once I'm going, I'm going. Like, yeah. there's no pulling out of this. It's full commitment. It's full commitment, full beans, right from the start. If I can do a triple cock, I can do this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this time I'll focus on getting the rail. Now the drop's out of the way. Okay. Oh, the fence! <laughs> On that note, I think that's the end of the video. So yeah, the roof drop worked. So happy with it. And um, it's pretty much, yeah, like I said, the end of the video. So um, I don't think there's much more I could do here, unless you've got any ideas, chuck them in the comments below the video. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Woo.